Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are just now finding my channel, I definitely encourage you to hit that subscribe button because if you are in the market for EMS videos, this is definitely the channel for you. Today we're going to be going over a different mnemonic in EMS and it's called Perla. So what is PERLA? PERLA is a mnemonic that is intended to assist EMS or other medical personnel with the overall assessment of the pupils. As we know, assessing our patient's pupils plays a vital role in our overall assessment. And just a little disclaimer, this mnemonic is a little bit different than my past mnemonic videos in that it doesn't just list out certain key points. It actually makes up an entire sentence that you want to go through and use as a guide when you're assessing pupils. So the P stands for, what do you know, pupils. And just in case you're not sure what the pupil looks like. So you have the iris, which is the colored part of your eye, and then you have the dark part of the eye in the middle, which is the pupil. And the pupil controls how much light gets let into the eye by constricting or dilating. And the E stands for equal, meaning that both of the pupils are equal. Now about 20% of the human population walk around with unequal pupils, and it clinically means nothing, and it's called a nisocoria. But you want to worry about a nisocoria whenever the patient's had recent head trauma or a possible stroke or a situation where we suspect increased intracranial pressure for whatever reason. And the first R stands for round. So the patient's pupils should be round, and if they're not, it's something we should definitely note in our assessment. And the second R stands for reactive two, and that ties into the next two. So we have pupils that are equal, round, and reactive to light. This is one of the main things we'll check in the ambulance. A lot of times we can turn off all the lights and then shine a pin light in the patient's eyes. If the patient's pupils do not react, then that's something else that we definitely need to know in our assessment. The last one is A and it's reactive to accommodation. So we want to check and see if the pupils are reactive to accommodation by seeing if they react the same way to an object that's far away in comparison to an object that is close up. So now you can think of Perla like it's a sentence. You can think pupils are equal, they're round, and they're reactive to light and accommodation. That's about all I have for Perla. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!